Assalamu alaikum viewers last time I discussed about uh, the elastic curve of beam which represents the deflection and slope of the beam so today I will discuss about the conjugate beam method using this method you can find out the value of deflection in beam at any point easily so here I write this is the class of conjugate beam method so we need to follow some uh, consideration when we used a uh, conjugate beam method to find out a deflection so here's the consideration is moment diagram of the real beam will be converted to load of the conjugate beam divided by EI <coughs> So conjugate beam is an imaginary beam whose length is uh, similar to the real beam but you have to convert the moment diagram of the real beam into load of uh, conjugate beam when we divided the uh, moment with uh, EI. So if this is the moment diagram of real beam, if this is moment you have to convert it M by EI form, M by EI form. So this will be changed into load and this will be the load of conjugate beam conjugate beam after doing this you will find shear at uh, conjugate beam so when you find at conjugate beam shear at conjugate beam it will be the slope of elastic curve of real beam so at the conjugate beam you will find and shear so this shear will be the slope of the elastic curve of real beam and movement also be found so this movement will be the deflection of deflection of real beam so these are the consideration and also one more thing is important the support transformation so when the support is simply supported at both end is uh, hinge and roller support so if this is the real beam this will be converted to conjugate beam this will remain unchanged at if this two is at both end of the beam and when one side is fixed and another side is free so this will be transformed into the fixed side will be transferred free and this free end will be transformed in fixed one and one more th case is um, this one if this is hinge support and this is ruler support and this is free end so the support transformation will be this one is at the end so this is unchanged and this one is at the internal portion so this will be converted to internal hinge and this is free end so this will be the fixed support so why we do these things so because here the ruler support is one reaction and at uh, hinge support there is two reaction but uh, this two this vertical two uh, resist the deflection of the beam and uh, here is this too is rotation free but uh, it has a slope when it uh, deflected and uh, when the beam is deflected with the load so uh, this one have slope and uh, this one also have slope so if we convert it to uh, this two with uh, at uh, the uh, conjugate beam so here it remains same but uh, when uh, this is a fixed support and this is free end so here deflection curve will be like this so here will be deflection so in this point at the free end if we transformed it into fixed support at conjugate beam here a shear will be 
created and a moment also so this moment represents the deflection this deflection and this shear this shear will represent the uh, slope of the elastic curve slope of the elastic curve so uh, at the last case here you can see that uh, this is the uh, hinge support so this one is rotation free and here is no deflection and this one is uh, the point where deflection will be present so this deflection will be happen due to this moment created at the fixed end and here will be as shear so for this shear a uh, slope will be also created so for these things uh, we convert this is the real beam and transformed into conjugate beam so if these are the real beam this will be converted to a conjugate beam for this one now i will show some examples so here it is the examples and this is number one so it is very simple and this is kind of this one and here ei is constant you have to find out deflection at this uh, point so this is a and this is b this is roller support and this is hinge support so if we uh, go to find out the reaction so this is one kilonewton this is five meter and this is also five meter so this is two kilonewton at the mid point of the span so this is one kilonewton and this is also one kilonewton so the moment diagram bending moment diagram of this one will be like this so this is moment diagram and this is 5 kilonewton meter if we change this one into the load so you have to divide this one by ei so 5 by ei will be the result here it is modulus of elasticity and the moment of inertia so this is the result and look one thing this is uh, positive at bending moment so the, the load will be upward at conjugate beam so you have to remember this that if this one is negative the load will be the downward so this is the load and if we draw the draw the conjugate beam this two end is roller and hinge support so this will remain unchanged so here it is now you can calculate the reaction here it is 5 meter and it is also 5 meter and the reaction will be like this so this reaction is this is a triangular shape so this one is 5 by ei into 5 this is triangular and multiplies with 0.5 so this will be 12.5 um, by ei and this will also be similar if i cut this section at the midpoint so if i cut this section uh, then it will be here a shear will be created and uh, here the reaction is 12.5 by ei and also a moment and this one is 5 by ei and this is 5 meters so the moment will be here it is uh, anti-clockwise so anti-clockwise if we take anti-clockwise are positive so this one is also positive so 12.5 um, by ei into 5 minus this is half into 5 by ei multiplies with 5 into 5 by 3 is equal to 0 so this moment is taken at this point so the moment result is minus 125 by 3 ei which is the deflection of this beam so it is negative so the deflection will be downward so this is the deflection and this is also the deflection and negative negative sign represents downward deflection this one is very simple so i am going to do 
and moderate one so this is the problem here um, you have to find out the deflection and slope at a midpoint of a and b so if this is the midpoint this midpoint is uh, five meter away from the support so here is a cantilever uh, portion and uh, this two is uh, this is uh, this section is 2i and this one is i and e is constant so this is the problem and you have to solve it at first you have to draw shear diagram so take moment take moment at b point so if we take moment at a b point the this reaction if we take this like so r a into 10 plus 5 into 2 so this is zero and this one is minus one kilonewton so the reaction is one kilonewton and uh, this one is two plus one is three kilonewton so the shear diagram will be uh, this one will be go downward and this will take upward and this will go to here so this is two kilonewton and this is one kilonewton and this is ten and this is 5 meters so the moment diagram will be this is negative this is positive so this is the moment diagram 10 kilonewton meter this one is negative and uh, this is b point this is a point and this is uh, c point so this is 5 meter and this is 10 meters so if uh, you have to convert this uh, at m by e i form so if i uh, this is um, the 2i the here the uh, moment of inertia so this will be 10 by 2 e i so this is 5 by e i and uh, the other part is here is 1 e i you have to divide 10 to 1 e i so this is 10 by e i so it is negative so the load is downward like this this is the load at a conjugate beam and now you have to put support so the support will remain same as sorry this is same as a real beam this is real beam and uh, this is conjugate beam so if i draw the beam here it will it it was the free at uh, real beam so this one will be fixed and here it will be internal hinge due to this uh, hinge support at uh, internal portion you have to find a deflection at this point so you can uh, separate this portion this portion you can separate you need not to calculate this one's reaction and uh, other things because here you can find out the uh, deflection if we separate this one so when we separate this one this become 10 meter the load is like this and the reaction will be like this and the shear is v and this is uh, moment Oh, sorry this is near there is no shear this is reaction due to this internal hinge so and it is 5 by ei so what will be the reaction you can take um, uh, equation of equilibrium so um, this is sorry you can't take equation of equilibrium because this two is unknown you can take moment at this point so if we take at this moment so this is ry so ry into uh, this is 10 uh, minus this is uh, 5 by ei into 5 into half into 10 by 3 is equal to 0 so ry is 25 by 3 ei now you can take this section this is the meat of a and b so if we take this part so this will be 5 by 2 ei and reaction is 25 by 3 ei and this is 5 meter and here is v and here is moment so you have to find out of shear and moment for this 
you can use equation of equilibrium for finding a uh, shear so the, if you uh, use this equation of equilibrium so it will be 5 by 2 ei into this one's load so it is 5 into half minus 25 by 3 ei plus v so this v this is 0 so v is uh, nothing but 25 by 12 ei so this is the slope this is the slope of uh, this beam at the mid section mid part of the ab now you can calculate a moment from this point so if uh, we take moment at this point you can find out that 25 by 3 ei into 5 5 minus 5 into 5 by 2 ei into half into 5 by 3 minus m is equal to 0 so the result of m is the 125 by 4 ei look this is uh, the positive so if uh, this moment is positive so the deflection curve so the deflection curve will be upward so if we draw the deflection curve here it is it will be like this so this deflection curve this is y so this will be the 125 by 4 ei 125 by 4 EI. Now I want to say one thing that the conjugate beam method is the fastest procedure to solve the beam with concentrated load but it's not that easy for distributed load. When it is distributed load you need to do some integration and that I will show at next discussion just take a look if uh, the beam is supported uh, with two simply support and uh, this is loaded with w and this is l so the deflection uh, so the movement diagram will be like this and this one will uh, if this one is positive this one will be converted to the m by ei form so if m by ei form so here the this is the parabolic shape this is parabolic shape so this parabolic shape you have to convert uh, you have to calculate area of this one and also movement and shear so that you can find deflection and slope of the curve so this is difficult to calculate uh, at this one so you have to take uh, this section and do some integration so this will be discussed in next class. So till then, Allah Hafiz.